Hi and welcome to the Online Baby Lab. Today I want to go briefly over how you can quickly complete the Early Motor Questionnaire or EMQ for short. The EMQ asks you to rate your child's motor skills and it does so using a scale going from minus 2 to plus 2. Minus 2 is from behaviors that you are sure your child does not show yet and plus 2 is for behaviors you are sure that your child shows already. Please do not use the intermediate scales often. Those are for you to express uncertainty about your child's behavior, but for the most part you should either rate them as not present minus two or present plus two. If a skill is emerging or you're truly unsure, you can use the intermediate scales, but we don't want you to overthink your response since your initial intuition is usually best. The early motor scale is organized into three sections, gross motor, fine motor and perception action skills. Within each section, motor behaviors are organized by posture or context. As you go through the questionnaire, postures and context will become more difficult. Similarly, within each posture or context, the motor skills become more difficult as you go from earlier to later questions. Keeping the structure in mind is important to complete the questionnaire quickly. When you complete the questionnaire, you can use the structure to your advantage and shorten the time it takes you to complete the EMQ. If you encounter a posture your child has already mastered, all the items in that posture should be answered plus two. If you encounter a skill your child has already completed and is not engaging in any more, but it's not developmentally appropriate, all these items should be answered with plus two. If you encounter a posture your child has not yet experienced or attempted, all the items should be answered with minus two. Similarly, if you encounter an item that is a situation that you have not provided to your child, most likely you have not provided your child with that situation because it is developmentally not appropriate, so your child is probably not engaging in this behavior yet. Once you notice that you are circling minus twos more often, you likely have reached your child's level of ability and all items moving forward are more likely to be rated minus two than plus two. So keep an eye on how you respond to decide whether you need to keep reading each question carefully at that point. Let me give you an example of how I would complete the EMQ. Assume I have a 12 month old baby who just started walking but cannot walk independently and still needs my help holding her hands. My baby has been doing great with tummy time with me holding her with her lying on her back lying on her tummy, sitting and crawling. Therefore, when I go over the EMQ, I can just circle plus two for all these sections related to skins within these postures. Being held against my shoulder, my child did all that. Lying on tummy, my child did all that. Lying on her back, my child did all that, but maybe that last one, standing up without rolling to a side, I will have to think about that, and maybe that's an item where I'm a little bit unsure about. Sitting on my lap, my child does that perfectly fine. Placed into a crawling position, I said my child is crawling, those are all plus twos. Placed into a sitting position, my child is sitting very well, these are all plus twos. Placed into a standing position, this is the level where my child is currently, so I have to read these questions carefully and think about them. For the most part, my child can walk alone, but only if I hold the hand and take a few steps without me, but mostly falls back down. So mostly I will circle plus two to item 25, but then item 26, 27 and 28, I circle minus two. This also tells me that I'm reaching my child's ceiling. When placed in front of stairs, I'm not placing my child in front of stairs. This is all minus two. When moving around freely, this is all the child walking alone without help. And my child doesn't do that much. So this will be all minus two. Similarly, walking down the hallway is all minus two and during free play or pretend play, these will all be minus two. Please also note if you observe any of these skills in a different context than what is described here, you can still feel free to rate it as a plus two. The context is meant to give you an example where these behaviors are most likely to occur. If I were to apply the same logic to the fine motor skills section, I will have to be a little more careful here because the items might be different. But this is my baby playing in a baby gym or activity crib. This is all plus two because my child has done so in the past and was very good with it. Placing my child in a high chair. Most of these things my child will do, so I'm inclined to just circle plus two for everything. However, when skimming the items, I noticed that this one is asking about placing beads on a string 
and I'm not giving my child beads because they are choking hazard for a 12 month old. So most likely my child cannot do that yet, so I'm circling minus two. However, if you have larger beads that are age appropriate and you engage in this activity with your child, your response might be different. Then it's asking about sitting without support on the floor and my child can sit, so I just have to look at the skills that are asked here, and most of these are holding small objects, but some of them are putting objects into a bucket. So the first half here I would circle plus two, and the later half I would circle minus two, because my child doesn't put toys in a bucket and doesn't stock stack blocks yet. When playing with a book or magazine, my child mostly crumples those, so turning several pages at a time, I might say maybe, but turning only one page at a time, no. When drawing on a sheet of paper, my child doesn't draw, however, my child might grip a crayon, like it would grip a rattle, so I'm gonna say yes to that, but I'm gonna say no to all the others. When I give my child a sheet of paper, similarly, my child can grasp the paper and wrinkle it, so I'm gonna say plus two to that, but it's not folding it into any particular shape, so I'm gonna go with minus two here. Then finally, Playing with a shape sorter or piggy bank, my child cannot successfully insert shapes without help. So I can say minus two to all of these. My child does not stack blocks yet, so I can say minus two to all of these. And we don't use activity or coloring books. All these items are more complicated. And my child doesn't dress herself yet. So all of these will be minus two. So as you can see, using the strategy, you can quickly eliminate large parts of the EMQ for you to think about and only focus on the areas where your child is currently developing skills. Of course, it's a good idea to always check items briefly to make sure your response is correct. However, again, please do not overthink your response. In most cases, your immediate intuition about your child's current motor ability is the best response. Thank you for your attention. I hope that these tips will help you complete the EMQ faster. In our research, most parents take about 15 to 20 minutes to complete the EMQ. If you have questions, you can always email us at babylab at pit.edu.